On this video we're taking a look at our NBA team picks for the games that are happening on Sunday, April 3rd, 2022. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Oklahoma City Thunder vs Phoenix Suns. Phoenix minus 13.5 points. And here is why. While Phoenix has been consistently winning games this season, Oklahoma City has been trending in the opposite direction. The Thunder lost their first game of the year and have been under the .500 mark ever since then. They went on a 10-game losing streak in March before finally picking up a win over Orlando on March 23. Oklahoma City added a win at Portland in overtime last Monday, but it has dropped both of its games since then. The Thunder were blown out by Atlanta at home on Wednesday and came up just short in a 110-101 final against Detroit on Friday. The Oklahoma City Thunder have been in poor shape as they've lost 13 of their last 15 games, and they will be hoping to bounce back after getting stopped by the Pistons in a 110-101 loss on Friday. Theo Maladin led the team with 28 points, 6 rebounds and 6 assists, Isaiah Roby and Lindy Waters each scored 16 points, while Jalen Horde chipped in with 11 points, 20 rebounds and 3 assists. As a team, the Thunder shot just 42% from the field and 11 of 34 from the three-point line as they kept pace with the Pistons until the third quarter, where they managed just 14 points to fall behind by as many as 22 points. The Phoenix Suns have been on fire as they've won 13 of their last 16 games overall, but they would be eager to bounce back in this one after having their nine-game win streak halted by the Grizzlies in a 122-114 road loss on Friday. Devin Booker led the team with 41 points on 17 of 28 shooting, Michael Bridges added 18 points, while Cameron Payne chipped in with 11 points off the bench. As a team, the Suns shot 54% from the field and 10 of 27 from the three-point line, as they worked hard to claw their way back from an early 16-point deficit, only to come up short in the fourth quarter, where the Grizzlies took the game away with a pivotal 17-2 run. The Suns are going to be a little shorthanded in this one, as they are resting Jay Crowder, Devin Booker and DeAndre Ayton, while the Thunder are still missing a long list of players including Kenrich Williams and Darius Bosley, while Jeremiah Robinson Earl and Alexej Pokusevsky are both listed as questionable. The Suns aren't going to be at full strength, but they should still have more than enough firepower to win this one easily. Sacramento Kings vs Golden State Warriors. Golden State minus 6.5 points. And here is why. The Golden State Warriors have been in a rut as they've lost seven of their last nine games overall, but they will be looking to stay hot after stopping a four-game skid with a 111-107 win over the Jazz last night. Klay Thompson drained eight three-pointers to lead the team with 36 points on 14 of 28 shooting, Jordan Poole added 31 points with six assists, while Andrew Wiggins chipped in with 17 points. As a team, the Warriors shot 47% from the field and 20 of 48 from the three-point line as they struggled to find their offense and fell behind by as many as 21 points in the first half, but they kept their heads and exploded for 66 points in the second half to escape with a much-needed victory to get their season back on track. The Sacramento Kings have come to life with four wins in their past five games and they will be aiming for a third straight win after sneaking past the Rockets in a 122-117 road win on Friday. Harrison Barnes led the team with 25 points on 10 of 16 shooting, Don DiVincenzo tallied 19 points with 9 rebounds and 9 assists, while Damian Jones scored 17 points with 17 rebounds and 6 blocks. As a team, the Kings shot 51% from the field and 12 of 28 from the three-point line as they allowed the Rockets off to a flyer and had to claw their way back from an early 19-point deficit before they poured in 36 points in the fourth quarter to escape with a narrow win. The Warriors will play the second game in two nights, but I still think they have a better chance of getting a victory against Sacramento than against Utah on Saturday. The Kings did record four wins in the last five games, but all four came against the teams with a worse record than them, so that will not be very helpful versus Golden State. The Warriors do miss Stephen Curry and that's evident, but I believe they got what it takes to beat Sacramento, who is playing without both Sabinus and Fox, their best players. The outcome of the game in Salt Lake City will directly affect this one against the Kings. The Warriors need one more win to secure playoffs, so if they beat the Jazz, I am pretty sure Steve Kerr will decide to rest some of his players on Sunday. In that case, I wouldn't back the Warriors. 
Anyway, stay tuned, keep an eye on that game at Vivint Smart Home Arena before placing a bet. Los Angeles Clippers vs New Orleans Pelicans. New Orleans plus 2.5 points. And here is why. The New Orleans Pelicans have been in great shape as they've won 6 of their last 8 games, and they will be gunning for a 4th straight victory after outlasting the Lakers in a 114-111 road win on Friday. CJ McCollum led the team with 32 points, 7 rebounds and 4 assists, Brandon Ingram added 29 points with 8 rebounds and 7 assists, while Jonas Valanciunas chipped in with 17 points, 12 rebounds and 6 assists. As a team, the Pelicans shot 51% from the field and 7 of 26 from the three-point line as they went back and forth with the Lakers in a tight contest until late in the fourth quarter as they closed the final 252 on a 9-3 run to steal the game in the end. The Pelicans are 20th in points per game at 109.0 and are 13th in points allowed at 109.8. This is not a very good shooting team as New Orleans is 21st in field goal percentage, 45.7%, and 27th in three-point shooting, 33.1%. They have been solid on the glass, however, 10th at 45.3 rebounds per game. The problem is that this team is not very good at shutting down opponents either, 20th in opponent field goal percentage, 46.7%. The Pelicans are led by McCollum, who has been great since joining the team, averaging 26.2 points, 4.9 rebounds, and 6.2 assists per game. Ingram is second at 22.9 points per contest. Valanciunas has been a double-double machine at 18.1 points and 11.6 boards per contest. Los Angeles is not a very good team offensively either, averaging 107.7 points per game on 45.6% shooting, 22nd overall. However, they have been great from the three-point range, 4th at 36.8%, and 9th in free throw percentage, 79.2%. The Clippers are allowing 108.9 points per game, 11th overall, and they are 6th in opponent field goal percentage at 45.2%. Paul George leads this team, averaging 24.9 points, 6.8 rebounds, and 5.5 assists per game. Norman Powell has been great since joining the team, averaging 21.0 ppg, but he is out indefinitely with a foot injury. Reggie Jackson is averaging 17.2 points per game. The Los Angeles Clippers have been in a slump as they've lost 6 of their last 8 games, but they will be eager to stay hot after making light work of the shorthanded Bucks in a 153-119 road win on Friday. Robert Covington drained a career-high 11 three-pointers to finish with 43 points, Amir Coffey added 32 points with 7 assists, Luke Kennard scored 23 points with 6 assists, while Tree Man chipped in with 18 points. As a team, the Clippers shot a sizzling 60% from the field and 23 of 43 from the three-point line as they jumped all over the depleted Bucks in the first half before pouring in another 80 points in the second half to make it a complete blowout. The Clippers are slumping recently as they are 3-7 in their last 10 games. Even worse is that they are 2-6 in their last 8. Los Angeles is struggling to get some consistency going, and the fact that they have allowed 119 points or more in 6 straight games speaks to the troubles of this club. They need to play strong defensively to win, but they are not getting that. The Pelicans' recent run of form has moved them right into the playoff picture, and they will be eager to keep a run going with another win here, while the Clippers are a threat again with Paul George back in the lineup and playing well. You can make an argument for either side here, but the Pelicans have been in terrific form lately, and they haven't had to travel since their win over the Lakers, and I think they can get the job done in this one. New Orleans has dominated Los Angeles of late, winning five straight meetings. The Pelicans are also playing very well of late, winning three in a row, and seven of their last ten. Not only will they cover the spread in this contest, but will outright win. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.